Great. So uh, this is really exciting for us because we're not here to sell you anything. We're here looking for partners. Um, there's some really great intros today. I love the changing fashion because you brought up machine learning. And what we're going to show you tonight is a completely disruptive new machine learning technology. And it's disruptive because it expands the available market for the technologies you are already using. And what we want is to inspire you tonight. If, if I do my job, you're going to walk out of here with 10 new ideas for a new business. And so the big question we're asking is, how will you build the killer app? So let's go through uh, Brent's quick questions. What's our primary differentiator? Our technology creates new markets by understanding complexity. That's a big deal. Our API enables programmers to use machine learning pattern recognition to extend the functionality of things like Java and PHP to do really cool things that you can't program, that only can be done through machine learning. Our biggest obstacle is we've done what IBM has not so far. We have created an SDK for machine learning for the general use of programmers. 10 million in funding so far. And that's from lots of small investors and projects that we've sold along the way to people that don't want us to tell you what we've done for them. So our customers um, include a lot of innovators and uh, government agencies. And what we're looking for are people like you, early adopters. And our idea of an early adopter is somebody that uses our technology to gain competitive advantage. And if that's you, we want to develop a relationship with you. In the past year, we launched our product in, in uh, June to the public. And in the past year, we've uh, acquired 30 consulting partners. And these consulting partners are building really cool apps. So we'll talk a little bit later uh, about some of the stuff they're doing. But these are the kind of apps that we think are going to change the marketplace. And, and hopefully you'll hear about them. Uh, so uh, the company started at Zurich. Uh, Tom had the choice of putting it anywhere he wanted in the United States when they reincorporated. We're not in San Diego. We're in Bird Rock. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's a lifestyle choice, uh, shamelessly so. So let's talk, let's get into the meat. Tools. You're going to build a really cool business. You're going to build tools. You have two choices. You can be clever or you can be brilliant. If you're clever, You'll use all the same tools that everybody else is using, only you're going to have to be smarter than they are, and you're going to have to move faster than they are, and you're going to have to have a better business model. Or, you can be brilliant. You can see what others can't, you can do what others can't, you can build something that others can't live without. So, how are you going to do that? You're going to harness the power of complexity. Complexity means that you can't model it algorithmically. It's too much. You can't, there are too many black swans hidden in there. There's also a lot of gems. So how are you going to find those gems? Let's talk about our API, Topic Mapper. This is an API for text. Any text, any language, doesn't matter. You feed it raw data into the API, and on the moment that it, it, it sees the data, it detects all of the associations. If you know the associations of every data element, you know the patterns. If you know the patterns, you know the context. If you know the context, you know the meaning. Or do we have any machine learning or AI experts out there? Are you screaming bullshit right now? No, well, I mean, you can do that with LDA. No, you can't. <laughs> Let's prove it. <laughs> this is BrainView. It's a, it's a tool that allows us to visualize what happens inside a brain. And this is what it looks like when you feed 850 documents into our brain to learn the word arsenal from the last World Cup uh, system. And it looks a lot like a, a, a graph, a social graph. It's showing every association and so forth. In LDA, it takes a lot of time. This is instant. Let, let's, let's prove it. Let's hold on to that thought and, and uh, go a little bit further. So, the brain board. You didn't come here to see presentation tonight. You came here to see demo night. So, Tom's going to show you brain board. This is our prototyping and development platform for you to test ideas. Uh, try to do this in LDA. So, he just loaded a net, um, and that net loads. It's fast, faster than 850 documents 
that I can set, possibly say. Um, and the net now knows the entire pattern. So let's ask it a question. Let, this is a uh, World Cup data. Let's find out what the, um, let's do an association. What does the word Wayne mean? Any soccer fans in here? Okay, Wayne Rooney is what I'm asking for. So this is Wayne. What, 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 oh, wow, Wazis comes up. Guess what? They didn't come up with Rooney. No one in England calls Wayne Rooney. They call him Wazis. And the system immediately understood that. We can go through this for hours. It's really cool. But I only have about uh, two minutes left. So let's get in and, and inspire you with an application that we built in less than four days. And it's called Brain Bus. Literally, this is a four-day effort. And so what we're really good at is pattern recognition. And there's a lot of really cool tools out there for language. And one of them is called Natural Language Processing, or, or um, uh, NLP. And uh, we used an open source NLP library that allows us to understand the grammar of, right? Because ours is just recognizing patterns. And he just pulled up a 10Q report. He, he, he just hit the brain browser and did something really simple. This is just a straight. Like, what's the content we want to know? Let's, let's hit the brain. And it's going to go through and it's going to analyze every single word, every single sentence, and the entire document and understand what it means. And it comes up with every keyword and every association for keyword. One of our board members is on the board of uh, WebZoo. And so we showed us the other day, like, what does WebZoo mean? So we click on WebZoo, it highlights WebZoo, pulls out the most relevant text, and gives us associations specific to WebZoo. What can you do with this? Imagine if you took this and scraped every single SEC document that's public, and scraped every single news feed that's public, and you combine the two, you match the two like unique fingerprints, do you think that might affect the stock price? Maybe? Well, we showed this the other day uh, to, uh, we were competing against IBM Watson. And uh, one of our OEM customers is matching tens of millions of resumes against millions of job postings. They tested ours, they tested IBM Watson, we won. And we will have a working prototype for them by the end of this month, or by the end of October. And if it works, it's disruptive, it changes, it makes Monster's job a lot harder. And so what we want to do is inspire y'all to come up with your own ideas and contact us. Um, let's talk about a couple other examples real quick. Um, last night I was on the phone, late night, demoing to a company. Uh, one of our big clients is a European cell phone carrier that won't tell us how they're using it. My suspicion is it might be something about SMS text, maybe. Um, this company last night wanted to use uh, another company, a different cell phone carrier, wanted to use it to, they were up front, we want to, we want to understand what people are texting about. Um, so I was on the phone with them for two hours, in Chinese. Now we don't know whether we're going to sell to the Chinese, there's some intellectual property protection rights that we got to work through and so forth, but I know they want to buy it. Uh, one of our partners in Brazil is using this to analyze how television program, their satellite television uh, provider, and they want to know how satellite the television programming is perceived in social networks. They're building a prototype to do this. So, enough of that. What do you guys want to build? And if you're interested in this and this inspires you, um, I'd like to encourage you to contact us with this QR code. Uh, you can see my beautiful fiance, Lydia, she's the brains of the family. Um, uh, to get a QR code, contact us. If you have any questions, meet me in the bar and buy me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely.